We don't have a cure to stop the disease process in dementia. Cells in the brain die as a result of dementia, and we have no current way to halt this, even though we've been studying Alzheimer's disease for over 100 years. People with dementia don't usually die directly of the disease. They die of other related diseases, such as stroke or pneumonia, usually between 8 and 10 years after diagnosis. While we don't have a cure, there are many psychosocial interventions for people with dementia and their families, which can make their quality of life much better right now. These interventions include various activity-based therapies to keep people with dementia stimulated, as well as supportive therapies to help those with dementia with symptoms of depression or anxiety. Environmental approaches help to make living spaces easy to navigate and home-like. This is particularly important in nursing homes. It is important that people in nursing homes are given meaningful activities, as this greatly increases health and quality of life. It is very important to know that quality of life for people with dementia, even at the very late stages, can be very, very good but they absolutely need certain things. They need to be in an environment where they're supported, cared for by people who understand dementia. They do better under the care of an interdisciplinary team. A team of people that know about geriatrics and friends and family willing to give the person with dementia patience and respect and love. Then they can have quality of life. The most prominent current model of dementia care is Kitwood's person-centered care model. At its core, it involves having the focus of care on the person, not fulfilling tasks or just attending to the person's physical health needs. Person-centered care includes every sort of interaction with the person with dementia, from how meals are served to how both professional and family carers interact with the person with dementia. It is beyond a specific intervention and, importantly, includes how medical or health-related care is given. For example, say that the person with dementia needs to have a bandage changed. In a person-centered approach, the person with dementia is spoken to warmly and reassured, and what will happen is explained in simple terms. If the person with dementia is agitated at that moment in time, the care activity is postponed until they're calmer. In a task-oriented approach, often persons with dementia are ignored while the activity takes place, and the activity is carried out irrespective of how the person is feeling at that moment. Although this sounds simple, it is a difficult approach to take in facilities where staff have not been trained in such approaches, or if staff feel overwhelmed with the duties expected of them. In person-centered care, the person is treated with respect and treated like an individual. They are given opportunities to have a place of their own, meaningful activities, and made to feel that they matter. Continuity with their past, present, and future goals, likes and dislikes, and so forth, are maintained. The person with dementia is helped to feel safe in their environment, yet still afforded the chance to engage in novel and stimulating activities. Their voice is heard. Unfortunately, person-centered care remains more the exception than the norm. Caregivers of persons with dementia are vulnerable to both physical and mental health issues as a result of caring for a person with dementia. Caregiving is an overwhelmingly female occupation, and overall, the largest proportion of caregivers of persons with dementia are spouses, who themselves are often of advanced age. In caregivers of persons with dementia, compared to other caregivers, levels of psychological distress and stress are significantly higher, and subjective well-being and physical health significantly lower. Importantly, some studies have shown that by improving the well-being of our caregivers who care for older persons with or without a diagnosis of dementia, 
we can actually delay when older patients need to be placed in nursing homes. Make sense? Take care of the caregivers and both the patient and the caregiver do better. Some studies showed an average time delay of one and a half years before nursing home placements for the care recipient compared to placement for care recipients whose caregiver received no such intervention. 